A left turn of National Highway 57, approximately 15 km ahead of Purnia from Madarsa Chok near Kasba, leads to Dogachi. A village having population of nearly 5,000. Otherwise, unlike any other nondescript sleepy village of Purnia district, here majority of population depends on agriculture for livelihood. Agriculture is livelihood for people in Dogachi since generations. People here prefer living a quiet life. Earning livelihood through agriculture is the first choice of Dogachi residents. However, since a decade, life has become difficult for residents of the village due to increased uncertainties of agriculture. For anyone well acquainted with the cropping system of Dogachi, it could be surprising to notice that the area under wheat cultivation has reduced drastically in the village. If you ask any old timer of Dogachi village about cropping system, he would say, wheat and mage were major crops grown in the past. Farmers state, it is because of the climate change, they had been compelled to cut down wheat cultivation in recent years. Last December हो रहा है अभी तक हमारी जो है ठंडी अभी मौसम पूरा हुआ नहीं है कुआसा नहीं हुआ है हमारा इधर फसल में अफेक्ट पड़ रहा है जो हमारा फसल में जो है गेहूं में कल्ला नहीं होगा उस पर हमारी उपज पर फर्क पड़ेगा और ये सब के कारण से जो है अभी हम लोग का खेती पर जो पूरा असर पड़ेगा The impact of climate change is not restricted to Dogachi village alone rather this is a global problem it is estimated that by 2050, productivity of majority crops will decrease by 17% and up to 40% by the end of this century, unless the problems of climate change is addressed properly. It is likely the prices of food grains and meat would register increase beside inflation rate would be higher as a result of cumulative effects of climate change. It is estimated uncontrolled climate change would create problem of food insecurity for additional 18 million Indian population by 2030. For Bihar, it is double whammy experiencing flood and drought at the same time in different parts of the state. Vast area of North Bihar experience flood every year. Prevalence of drought situation due to deficient rainfall has increased considerably in sizable portion of South Bihar. The impact of climate change on agriculture could be more than apprehended in case there is one degree rise of average temperature in states like Uttar Pradesh, Punjab and Haryana annual wheat production could go down drastically. As per rough estimate, there could be 10% reduction in productivity of crops like paddy, mage and millet. In order to overcome these problems, Bihar Agricultural University Sabor is implementing climate resilient agricultural programs aimed at mitigating adverse effects of climate change. The primary objective of these programs is increasing capability of farmers to deal with climate change by popularizing climate resilient agricultural technologies and practices. The practices include zero tillage, direct seeding of rice and raised bed planting of crops besides judicious water management. Adoption of early maturing, photoinsensitive, biotic and abiotic stress tolerant crops and crop varieties, cropping systems and judicious water management practices are being encouraged under these programs. Prevention of crop residue burning is part of the initiatives being taken for minimizing the impact 
of climate change. To facilitate adoption of these technologies, especially zero tillage and direct seeding of rice, custom machine hiring centers were established in villages for ensuring easy availability of machines as per requirement of small and marginal farmers. KBK Purnia, के माध्यम से हम लोग कस्टम हायर सेंटर चला रहे हैं उससे पहले हम अपना एक खुद छोटा मोटा मशीन जीरो टी लिए हुए थे उसे हम लोग लगाए तो हम लोगों को अच्छा लगा कुछ किसान को अच्छा लगा तो फिर उसका डिमांड बढ़ता गया जैसे कि अभी हम लोग अब इसको कस्टम हायर सेंटर के रूप में हम लोग उसमें चला रहे हैं जिसमें जीरो टिलीज है हैप्पी सीडर है स्प्रे मशीन है थ्रेसर है रेज वेट मशीन है लेजर है थ्रेसर धान थ्रेसर है ऐसे जो हम लोगों का आय भी दुगुना हुआ पहले से द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ ग्रोइंग क्रॉप्स विथ नो और मिनिमम डिस्टर्बेंसेज ऑफ सॉयल थ्रू जीरो टिलेज and raised bread planting of crops adopted by farmers in many village has increased crop productivity and proving useful in water conservation direct showing in place of transplanted rice is a sustainable and climate resilient approach for rice production taking into consideration that transplanted paddy consumes about 40% of the world's water it is fuel time and water saving technology the yield of directly seeded rice is equal to that of transplanted rice hum log to kaado kar kar ke usko med bana kar ke pani pata kar ke kheti karte the lekin is baar jo hai bilkul prati zameen par hi machine dwara jo dhan boy kiye hain humko bahut kafi bachat bhi hua hai kafi acha bhi lag raha hai क्योंकि हमारे बगल में अभी कादो क्या हुआ धान है उससे कहीं अच्छा मेरा यही लग रहा है क्योंकि हम इसका मेड़ देखते हैं इसका पौधा देखते हैं उससे ज़्यादा उससे बहुत अच्छा लगता है फिर हमको काफ़ी बचत भी हुई है क्योंकि उसमें एकड़ में हमारा जो है लगभग दस से ग्यारह हज़ार रुपया खर्चा होता है इसमें जस्ट हमारा जो है चार साढ़े चार पाँच हज़ार रुपया बचत भी हो रही है हमारी सो डायरेक्ट सीडिंग ऑफ राइस इज कंसिडर्ड एज मोस्ट एफिशियंट एंड सस्टेनेबल राइस प्रोडक्शन सिस्टम capable of withstanding climatic stresses the burning of crop residue produces several harmful greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide carbon monoxide methane and aerosols in the environment that creates the pollution adoption of alternative crop residue management or residue recycling techniques like use of happy seeder bale making for animal feed biochar production and mushroom production has resulted in utilization of 500 tons of crop residues the university is looking forward to use ict tools in near future for providing real time weather forecast based on agro advisory and artificial intelligence for crop diagnostics though all is not well yet so far meeting challenges of climate change is concerned however for limiting the adverse effects on agricultural production there is more readiness at present compared to the past